We're back atop the NBC News Bureau in Los Angeles, where the hottest days of the year are arriving with no relief from the blistering drought here. Californians cut their water use by a record 29% in May. That's, of course, vitally important, but there's no conserving your way out of a drought like this. Meantime, it has severely altered the California lifestyle in so many ways, ways that will be especially apparent as people head off for outdoor adventures this holiday weekend. We get more from NBC's Jacob Rascone. The San Antonio Reservoir used to be one of California's largest and a popular Independence Day getaway. But after four years of extreme drought, there is almost nothing usable left. It's near what they call Deadpool, which means you can't release any more water out of it. And for the first time ever, the lake is now closed indefinitely. They're used to coming and having the lake to come to picnic, to swim, to boat, to fish, and it's gone. My family's sick about it because it's in my backyard. It's a sad thing. Up and down the coast, Californians are changing the way they live. The kids can't run around the sprinklers like we grew up. We can't wash our cars. Lush lawns like the reservoirs are vanishing. The community of Mountain House recently came within one day of running dry before buying expensive water on the open market. Another community, East Porterville, relies on donated water bottles and tanks after hundreds of its wells simply dried up. The fixes are only temporary. A lot of people are very concerned about what could happen if we get another uh, dry winter. That you won't be the only community that's told. No, this is going to be a statewide epic crisis. Another major reservoir, Folsom Lake, the primary water source for hundreds of thousands of Northern Californians, is losing 1.4 billion gallons every day. An entire region facing a new reality, buying time, desperate for lasting relief. Another 4th of July tradition is also suffering because of the drought. All personal fireworks are now banned in dozens of communities across the West, including here in California. And less than an increasing number of cities have now canceled their fireworks shows, saying it is simply not worth the fire risk. I can only imagine what an anxious weekend this is going to be for firefighters. One of the more anxious weekends firefighters have literally been preparing for this weekend for months. All right, Jacob Rascone, good to see you. Thanks.